What's up YouTube? Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, today we're going to do a little project. Been meaning to do this one. Just haven't. Don't know why. Anyways, we are going to restore this Wilton bullet vise. So, I don't know how far we're going to go with it. But uh, I'm excited to get it done. This does not have a swivel base. It was an option. So I don't know if this one's just lost or if it didn't come with one. I was told there would be a date code somewhere. It actually works beautifully. It's just ugly. So we're going to fix that. Let me grab a screwdriver and we'll take it apart some more. Ended up having to cut it off with the grinder. I'm glad that came out. That saves us a lot of time. Drilling and tapping would not be fun. Trying to get these jaws off. Are you going to help? Okay, so what we have here is a impact set. Ugh. They sell these. This is a snap-on, but they sell Harbor Freight ones. Whatever. But uh, all you do, put it in here. You're going to want to like turn this a little bit, then you smack it with a hammer. Grab a bigger hammer. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of heat on it, give it its best possible chance.
we go. The jaws are actually in really good shape. There's one. Yeah, look at the jaws. They're dirty and greasy. Good shape though. Well, that's not good. Okay, so I don't know if you see the plan here, but I think I'm going to weld a nut to it. Okay, I got a nut welded on. Grab the PV blaster. Oops. Yeah, buddy. There's one. Oh, the other ones can be more difficult. If I can get like a little nipple welded on there. Maybe, let me try a washer first. See if I can get a little nipple welded on. What do you think? I give it a 5% chance of working. Nope. Hmm. The problem is it's broke under... You see it's broke underneath. Trying to weld something onto something in a hole is not very easy. All right, I'll bring you guys back. I'm gonna fight with this. I tried welding like 12 nuts onto it, but my nuts aren't strong enough. Okay, I drilled it out enough to where I think I can get an easy out in it.
scared I'm going to break it off. Okay, after a whole lot of fighting, a uh, proper screw extractor and left hand drill bit, and a tap, I think I was able to fix the threads. So I'm going to throw this stuff in the parts washer and let it soak overnight. And I'm going to call it a day. It's the next day. I cleaned this up as best I could. Um, in the parts washer, I still got to wire brush it. But I wanted to get, eh, at least, hopefully get most of the grease off of it before I take it to the wire wheel. But uh, looks like it was originally uh, gray. Some type of gray or green or blue. I don't know. So you can see there's casting marks from scale. Well, I don't know if it's scale or not. But it's not really beat up. There's a couple of whammies. But uh, it's fairly good. So I'm just going to take a, I'm going to clean it up with the wire wheel and then we'll go from there. We might sand this a little bit. Just got done with, uh, I did two coats of primer, three coats of paint, two coats of lacquer. So it's going to have to dry till tomorrow. It's turning into a four day project. Know what I mean? Be all right. It'll work good. It's the next day. Just letting paint dry, but uh, I don't know where you live, but it's starting to get cold here. A little too cold for me. So I brought the vice inside last night so it could be in the warm because I knew it was going to get kind of chilly. Come on. And all I did was take, um, took the paint pen, just a silver paint pen. You can get it at like Michael's or wherever and went over the lettering that I wanted to show up. I'm not going to do the Schiller Park, Illinois, because it's too small and I have a feeling I'll just screw it up. Now I have to try and find some screws in this disaster. And then uh, we'll put it all back together. All right, wish me luck. Turned out awesome. It is a Wilton. Nine four five zero. It's really smooth. 
Um, I don't have an end cap for it. But uh, I think you can buy replacements online. So I got to buy replacements for those and I want to buy some new screws for the jaws. And then I found I had some extra screws, some stainless that I put in the clamp. I don't know what that's called. Some kind of clamp. Smooth. Alright. You good? You good? Like, comment, subscribe. Click that thing down there. I always get confused. I think it's over there. But uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.